G'day everyone. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I've done any brewing or video, so uh, cheers all. Um, hang on. A few midges around here. Um, reed wheat's still going. Uh, did have a really good head on it, but it um, yeah, sort of died back while I've been getting things going out here. Uh, things have been happening. Uh, got a saison. Uh, it's nearly done. I've got to keg it. It's two and a half weeks in the fermenter I've uh, just been waiting for one of my kegs to kick which it did last night so if I get motivated I'll uh, motiv um, get that done today um, tonight and yeah so um, just took a little sneak um, drawing off it so, so it's in not a bad colour um, got a um, they've got an orange uh, kick to it So it should fall the rind of five oranges in it. Quite smooth. I think I could have gone with more cardamom. I went with five grams. And the um, uh, recipe was uh, from 10 to 15. So I'll definitely go with that mid-range next time. Um, improve it a little bit more. So, But yeah, that's no, really good. Um, just started a homebrew club in our area. So that's been the other thing I've been sort of busy with the last couple of weeks. Um, so um, if you go on Facebook and Franklin Home Brewing, um, Franklin Home Brewing Club, um, yeah, it's um, we've got nearly 50 members already, so organising some uh, uh, events for that. So we've got a spring break, spring break competition and doing a Christmas one as well, very much like what the northern guys do with the black bear, um, but uh, it's the middle of summer for us, so... It's going to be a summer summer beer for Christmas. So, though the club has got quite a few uh, people fermenting wines and a lot of stillheads, so um, unlike England, I don't think it's illegal because uh, everyone owns or buys, and we, you can buy still kits quite easily in New Zealand. So, um, yeah, there's heaps of uh, people stilling around. So. Uh, I've got quite a few of them, so it's going to be quite interesting with all the competitions, trying to come up with different ideas for all the different um, aspects of brewing, I suppose, in the group. So, yep, so I've uh, been busy doing that. Um, what else have been doing? Going to be short of time for the next couple of weeks. I'm just getting into my busy season on the farm, so probably the next six weeks is going to be sort of 18 hour days. So, what to do? So what I think I'm going to do, I've seen a few people doing kits lately, so I am going to probably do three kits, so looking for a nice brown or nut ale, a Kolsch beer, and the other one I haven't decided. So um, might be a red ale or something like that, so something that I haven't tried before, um, something that I can easily chuck into a keg. Um, Kolsch beer, I might do a few things different with that because I might use it for my spear competition if I don't um, get myself uh, going. I could use the Saison, but I'll probably end up using the Saison for uh, the spring um, competition. So, um, which will be in six weeks, eight weeks. So, we'll have that. So, but yeah, um, yeah, it's all busy, busy, busy. And uh, just trying to spread myself around. So, I ain't going to go on too long tonight because. Uh, it's starting to get a bit dark out here, so just came out here and enjoying the nice, uh, peaceful night and having a beer. And I just thought, oh crap, a good time to do a video. So, um, cheers all, and uh, I'll try and keep in touch the next few weeks. <laughs>